Hello again and thank you so much for watching. This is going to be a reading for a Taurus sign for October 2015. I have pre-shuffled the decks, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, in order to save time and to save um, the clips from being overly large, otherwise they're difficult to upload. And I will be using two decks. I will be using a um, psychic tarot cards for the most of the reading and I will be using angel cards as uh, a theme for the month of October. Okay, so let's just start. So I have pre-shuffled um, and uh, most of these cards actually flew out. So whenever they flow, uh, flow out of a deck while I'm shuffling, I take them as uh, a sign that they need to be looked at. So for a theme for October for Taurus, what we have is the emperor. And what it says is, organization and logic, structure, discipline, and leadership. So this is number four. It's also Archangel Michael. And the number four is a stability number. And what this is telling me, and I always ask my guide for clarification, what this is telling me is that in the month of October, there is going to be a lot of components coming together that requires that require one to have um, all their ducks in a row. So there is a lot of planning, there's a lot of strategies, there is a lot of um, uh, putting pieces together and organizing. It's very much an organizational, organ, organ, organizing type energy, organized type energy or needing to organize. So the overall theme for October is Organize, organize, organize. That's what I'm hearing. And I feel like it's going to be chock full of things that will need to be put together in an organized way. And there's going to be a lot of them. So there's a need for leadership skills. Okay. So that's the overall um, energy, which is actually wonderful. It feels very substantial. So what we have uh, for the present and what I actually had I was told to have two cards which hasn't happened before so the first card I got was Destiny fantastic number 10 number 10 1 plus 0 is 1 it's also a number of the beginning and Destiny card is very much a um, it's a major arcana which means it's a substantial message and what this tells me is that Whoever you are, and I myself am a Taurus, we are now at a place in our lives when we're dealing, where we're dealing with situations and things that are very much substantial pertaining to who we are and our movement forward as far as a human, as far as a, a partner, as far as a business person, as far as an employee. So the destiny that we are dealing with right now is very substantial. Let me see if I can uh, I find another way to say this. This is a time of a lot of work. Uh, work that will bear fruit down the road and work that is very much connected to karmically. This is work on self, work on physical aspects of our life, but it feels very substantial. It's like coming from one end of the spectrum and going somewhere else, but before we can go somewhere else, we need to build this foundation, so to speak. So that's number 10. And the other card that's covering it is beautiful. It's also a one, so beginnings, and it's awareness. And I have never had spirit tell me to use two cards for the present situation so this is very unique and uh very beautiful and it's very powerful and they're both major arcana so very substantial energy here and what this card is telling me is i'm being told to be aware be aware on all sides because i'm feeling a lot of things coming at you and me from all different kinds of uh, from all different sources and all different directions and there is a need to have awareness in order to deal with the situations that arise in a way that's going to make sense and in a way that's going to be um, put together in order and in um, in a certain organized way. 
okay it also tells me that you have enough awareness within yourself to recognize when situations come uh, towards you whether they're uh, worth pursuing or not pursuing okay so these are this this is the current situation very very powerful energy okay what's in the recent past what we have is balance but it was shown to me upside down so what, what this tells me is we are coming myself included and then again another major arcana so that's huge we are coming from a place of feeling out of balance and i feel that we have been in this place for a while but the last little while has been uh, we we are we felt it in a very prominent way it's almost like we've been kind of going 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 kind of unbalanced for the most of the time but the last little while i want to say three to four months has really felt like it was unbalanced okay so that's just recent past what we have coming in the, in the near future we have the waiting game so we are in a place of new beginnings we're in a place of building something new we're coming from a place of imbalance but we're coming to more of a firm foundation and where we're going will require us to have faith in knowing that sometimes in order for things to move forward there is a need to wait so patience um the waiting game is very much about just because you're not seeing anything coming to fruition just yet that does not mean that it will not come to you down the road. And I'm getting the sense of two to three month waiting period. Uh, I don't necessarily feel nothing is going to happen, but I am getting a, a, a sense of it may not be as substantial as what you would like it to be. Now, I want to ask what part of your life this refers to. And I want to say... I, I, some people this is going to connect to uh, their family life and some people this is going to connect to business and I'm also getting a sense uh, this connects with people who have their own businesses whether they're starting something new whether they're starting a new project in their business or there's there's something new there's something new that is going to uh, take flight okay so that's what's in the near future what we have in a distant past is shadow. A 